There are five configuration settings which determine how the unit operates. You get into the configuration menu by pressing the power button to turn the unit off. While it's powered down, you can now use the P button to access the configuration menu. The first option is a temperature adjustment to change the displayed temperature compared to the measured temperature. So if you think the unit is reading high or low, you can make an adjustment to increase the level or decrease the level displayed. Clearly the unit is calibrated for accurate temperature display but you might need to make an adjustment if the individual installation uh, has a drafty situation or some other impact which changes the way the temperature is displayed. Second temperature setting is the differential. This is set at 1. You could adjust it higher, you can't adjust it lower but normally it would be left on 1. Confirm with the P button. The next configuration is the day combination for programming. A1 is the default which is 5 and 2, so Monday to Friday and Saturday, Sunday are programmed as two day groups. You've got A1, A2 which is 6 and 1, Monday to Saturday and Sunday as an individual day, and A3 all seven days, so whatever you program applies to seven days of the week. A lot of people leave the unit set on A1. Now you see the uh, address of the matching between the transmitter and the receiver. On the receiver there's a label which shows a code and the code should be the same as the one displayed in the bottom right hand corner. Last configuration is to reset the unit. If you've tried programming and you're not sure or uh, there's an error you can always restore the factory preset program. The unit times out and goes back to configuration option 01. Whilst number 05 and this is RS, it looks like A5 but it's RS for reset, you can press and hold the return button. The display changes to on and you've now reset the unit. So if I look at the program, it's restored to 0600 when I'd adjusted it to 0630.